Hi there. Glad you're with me today. I wanted to share with you something I'm very excited about, a new painting that we just completed. I say we because it's kind of been a family effort. It came from some uh, thoughts and things that Bonnie had, and we have all worked together on it, on design and uh, stuff. But anyway, it uh, t depicts the story of Elisha, where uh, the enemy of Israel, the king of Syria, was always trying to do battle with the king of Israel, and he never could get anywhere because somebody was spying on him, he thought. But his advisor said, no, it's the prophet Elisha. He can hear whatever you're saying, even in your bedchamber. And so he said, well, send an army and go get, uh, capture him and bring him to me. And that's where this uh, painting picks up. The, the uh, servant of Elisha goes out early one morning and he sees this vast horde coming up over the hills and he is terrified and he runs back into Elisha and says, we are in big trouble, the, the enemy has come, what are we gonna do? And Elisha walks outside with him and he simply prays, Lord, open his eyes so that he can see what's really going on. And he did and all over the hills were these angels and chariots of fire and uh, these heavenly beings coming and going. And Elisha stated, more are with us than are with them. And that's what the name of this painting is, More Are With Us. And that's the truth that I want to tell you about today. In 2 Timothy, the Bible says that God's not given us a spirit of fear, but one of sound mind and power and love. And Elisha walked out into that situation and did something really quite bold and powerful. He simply said, Lord, smite them with blindness. And they, the whole army, thousands and thousands of men went blind right there. And he went up to them and said, Oh, you're looking for Elisha? I'll take you to him. And he led this blind army off to the king of Israel, where you kind of expect to read that they slaughtered him there, but that's not what happened. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of sound mind, of power, and of love. And the king of Israel asked Elisha, what should we do with these uh, people? Shall we slay them? Shall we slay them? He was just getting really excited. But Elisha said, no, give them a feast. Make a feast for them, set a banquet before them. And the king of Israel then fed the whole foreign enemy army and sent them on their way. And guess what happened? There was no more war from those two kings from then on. That's the type of thing that God wants to do with us today. And we have lots of stuff going on where fearful events and fearful circumstances come into our mind. Um, but I just want us to see that light, the, the picture of all the angels, the, the, the light and the goodness and the light of God overcomes the darkness. He's always got a plan through something and he wants to use you and me and, and the, the simplest of us all to speak boldly into situations and, and make something come from nothing. I purposely left Elisha and his servant out because we all have battles and I want each of us to be able to look into this and see that we are facing our own enemies. And in this particular painting, we're, our eyes are drawn up to the power of God and the angels and the spiritual entities that are on our side. Paul tells us in Ephesians to live wisely and understand what the will of the Lord is because the days are evil. It's interesting to note that the will of the Lord in that passage is to sing to make melody in your hearts, to speak psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to one another. I find that important because that is actually the way you do battle in the spiritual realms. It reminds me of the story of Jehoshaphat when a terrible army of uh, several different armies were coming together to go against the children of Israel and they all gathered together, probably a little bit afraid. and. Uh, they, Jehoshaphat said, we don't know what to do. We don't have any power to overcome them, Lord, but we, our eyes are on you, and will you put judgment on them? And that, so they, somebody stood up in the crowd and said, go and stand and take your position and see the victory of the Lord. So the army went out to where they were supposed to meet this other army, and on the way, Jehoshaphat told the priests to all sing and do songs and hymns and spiritual songs. And so on the way, as soon as they began to sing, the Bible says that the enemy turned and began to fight amongst one another, and they ended up killing every single person of the enemy camp. When the children of Israel showed up at the battlefield, 
all they had was goodies to pick up off the ground. That's what it's like to do uh, spiritual warfare in the, in the kingdom. So I just want to encourage you as you face your own battles in this life to know that there are more with you than there are with them, that one man walking with God is stronger than any enemy army, and that when you are walking with God, you are in the majority. So take your stand, worship the one true God, and see the deliverance of the Lord. Hey <laughs> Oh, you rolling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would make everybody watch it. And it'd get a lot of likes. <laughs>